Hey guys, uh, this is going to be my first video on DIY 3D prints. Uh, my name is Mux. And uh, I've got an Ender 6 and an Ender 5 Plus. So this is the first printer I got. Um, some of the mods I have, I've got uh, the blockhead. I've got the second fan off because I'm printing carbon fiber so I don't actually need any cooling. Uh, I've got uh, E3D V6 hot end. It's running at 260 degrees Celsius, you can see. And I've loaded clipper and octoprint, so that's why the LCD looks different. Um, I'll have some tutorials, just sort of basic guide on how to install this on your Ender 5 Plus, if you guys are interested. It's running off, uh, uh, I had this Raspberry Pi 3B that I bought like a few years back, and then I bought a $9 webcam. Um, so, I before I got this, it wasn't printing as well. Uh, I highly recommend the Clipper upgrade. One of the things with the Clipper is that um, if the power goes off, then uh, you're screwed pretty much. Right? Even if you do from, um, basically you'll lose your print. So that's the only thing. If you if you have a lot of power outs, then you might want to stick with the original firmware. You can also reinstall original firmware if needed, or you can use a. Um, UPS uh, power supply so if power goes out because uh, these things don't use a ton of power I mean they use about 300 watts so with a decent size UPS you should be able to get through power outages just fine um, you can see it's printing I'm actually printing out a string test of uh, this carbon fiber Sains car carbon fiber material that I'm using um, it's also hooked up to uh, one of those on those things here you can see I have it on the other side too um, I have a filament dryer that I use for all my filaments because I, I bought one for carbon fiber but I realize it works really good uh, anyway which one do I like more I actually was printing carbon fiber on here too I actually like the Ender 6 better it's faster it's a core XY um, you'll get a lot better quality you'll get like double almost triple the speeds um, even with not too many upgrades uh, so I do recommend the Ender 6 uh, but the thing is this one's slightly slightly not as big as the what is this uh, 250 by 250 by 400 this is 250 by 250 by I think 350 um, so slight size difference you're gonna be able to print slightly bigger with the Ender 5 plus but at the same time uh, you're gonna be um, you're going to be dealing with a less uh, accurate 3D printer. So I would say the Ender 6 is definitely the winner. If I had to get one of them, then I would, I would definitely stick with this, especially if speed is of concern. Um, with the hot end upgrade, you should be able to go even faster. But with minimal upgrades, I only have Capricorn tube and you know place the uh, extruder there. And you know it can print up to, I, right now, it's the first layer I gotta set it to low, but I'm actually printing out around 200. Um, yeah, 200. What do you call it? MMS, millimeters per second. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the OctoPrint. So OctoPrint is this is great, um, and and this enclosure is just a DIY enclosure for carbon fiber because you want to keep it hotter. So I just I just had uh, all this. Uh, leftover plastic from painting my house so I you know I dug that up and then just enclosed it so the heat's in there and I have all these studio lights that I have from making YouTube videos so I reuse them so it's sort of it's not a perfect solution but I sort of DIY'd it that's why this channel is called DIY 3D Prints um, this way it keeps actually everything pretty warm in there and uh, printing carbon fiber or ABS it should be good anyway back to OctoPrint I've got it locally connected here and you can see um, exactly what's going on and it's also making a time-lapse so you can see it later which is really nice octoprint is great before this I would just you, you know I'd be I'll be going back and forth with the SD card just paying the ass um, yeah I really like octoprint it's pretty easy to use clipper once you get it rolling ball, ball rolling uh, it's pretty easy to use and I would say it's definitely more accurate my prints are a lot better, and I can print slightly faster, or well, much faster uh, than regular uh, the uh, Ender firmware. All right, so this is really nice, Octoprint. I can go ahead and check from anywhere. 
Uh, I've got it also set to. Um, I've got it set so I can watch it from uh, you know outside the house. So when I was golfing before I had this, I would call my daughter, and be like, "Is it three D? Is the three D printer going still well? Can you go check?" And <laughs> um, it was just not printing, and I had to tell her to turn it off manually. But with this. Uh, while I'm golfing, I can go ahead and check my IP address and just simply hit cancel and cancel any prints. Like, let's say something starts going wild, wildly, wildly wrong. Um, so really like the clipper setup. Also, it's open source. Uh, just wanted to give you an idea of um, some of the stuff that I've been doing. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment box. Uh, thanks for watching. But I'll have more comparisons. But yeah, I would say the only advantage with Ender 5 Plus is obviously slightly bigger. But uh, I don't even have BL Touch on this. But it, this one's slightly actually smaller. So bed leveling is, I think, a lot easier. And yeah, you can always add BL Touch. But I, I definitely think this is the way to go. Um, unless you absolutely need that extra size. But they're pretty much similar prices. Um... Yeah, just want to show you that and have a great day. I'm going to have more tutorials, so subscribe. Bye.